think there's more mediators who are worshiping a false god, who are trying to use a demon as a mediator. So this gentleman right here is taking over social media by storm. You may recognize him as somebody who's had millions, if not tens of millions of views on social media for his extremely controversial beliefs uh, in regards to pretty much rebuking people for their beliefs in whatever it might be. So I've never watched a specific video, but we're going to watch it together today to see and do maybe a little bit of a reaction to this gentleman's beliefs and views and see if God would agree with what this gentleman is doing. So without further ado, let's do it. The video is gonna be why Catholicism is a false religion. It's gonna be short. I'm just gonna use a couple verses to help you understand why you should definitely steer away from Catholicism. In Ephesians chapter two, verse 18, this is talking about Jesus. For through him, we both have access by one spirit to the Father. Access by one spirit to the Father. Not by Mary, not by the saints. And I'm going to jump back in. This is going to, I'm going to say, structure that verse a little better. So the first thing I want to address about what he just said is, you know, one of the reasons he's, he's rebuking and calling Catholicism evil is because of their emphasis that they put on Mary. Should people be putting as much of an emphasis on Mary, Mary excuse me, as they do in the Catholic Church? The answer would be no. No, they should not actually. But does that actually make them, in essence, evil? Because again, evil is implying unsaved, right? We wouldn't call somebody evil who is born again, obviously. So um, is this a, a primary issue that will determine the salvation of a Catholic? No. Also, generally this extreme view of Mary is a more of a Roman Catholic thing. The average Catholic that you bump into on the street is not going to believe that Mary is the only way you could talk to, 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 to God or the only or, or a way of salvation or something like that. That's not what your average Catholic will believe, but let's carry on hearing what he has to say. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5, listen to this. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. One, singular, no other. And why is it so dangerous? because you can't go through the saints and you can't go through Mother Mary. And in Revelation, when John bowed down to the angel by accident, that angel rebuked him. Because we cannot pray to the saints in heaven, we're married. Someone else is listening and it's not a saint. And then John 4. Um, so th this is a really common jump for somebody to make, to say you're doing something that is not biblical Therefore, you are following a demon or you are not saved or you're living in total deception or something like that. And guys, we have to be so careful when we're talking to people that we do not come across as creating a version of the gospel where somebody has to believe all of these secondary points to go to heaven. Now, I am passionately against Catholicism. I don't agree with Catholicism at all. But to go to as far as to say that somebody is not saved or worshiping a devil or they're praying to demons because they're attempting to pray to Mary to have relationship with the Father. Again, they're wrong. They're an error in their ways. But does that, would I go as far as to make a statement like these people are worshiping demons or these people are not born again because of this specific point at least? This would be no. So I'm curious to see what he has to say for the rest of this video. Verse 6. This is from Jesus Christ himself. So you can't just say the apostle Paul had error because he was a sinner like the rest of us. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That's Jesus Christ. Again, that, that that's something that would be agreed by Catholics, that, that Jesus is the way to heaven. No one would say that Mary is the way to heaven. Again, maybe some cults would say that uh, in, in the, the Catholic faith, but in general, your average Catholic is not going to believe what he just said. So um, just a bit of a straw man argument. Directly, that's three verses talking about why we can't go through the Father. We can't go to the Father through Mary, through saints, through the rosary. It's all heresy. It's all demonic. Catholicism is so dangerous. Just talking to a priest the other day. He was a priest for 11 years. He didn't know a goose from a duck. And what I mean by that, he didn't know anything about the scriptures. A priest for 11 years didn't know a single thing about the Bible. And when I had another conversation with some more priests and bishops and whatnot in the Catholic Church, their only argument is, I don't believe that the church is the foundation, the church, the church, the church. No, it's relationship with Jesus Christ. And this is another point. Matthew chapter 6, verse 7. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions, as the heathens do, for they think they will be heard for their many words. The Catholics, they love to do the rosary. They like to do these repetitional prayers of the saints. This is a... I heard someone say this recently in the Catholic Church. Most Catholics do. This is a prayer that St. Peter said. This is a prayer that someone said. said. No, we're not to pray in vain repetition. You're not to recite someone else's prayer. And of course, lastly, this is the last... To, to, he's right with what he said in regards to the vain repetition of prayer and stuff like that. Vain repetition of prayer and quoting a, a, a prayer of somebody in Scripture is not synonymous with each other. Um, 
like if I were to pray the Lord's Prayer, what we would consider the Lord's Prayer, our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name, um, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. If I were to pray that, you wouldn't assume that that was vain repetition or think that I was sinning for doing that. Um, people would actually see that as, as a thing of, of honor, right? Um, so again, that, that logic is really silly to say that you can't pray in, or that you're praying in vain and using that as the example. That is not vain repetition right there. Now, Catholics do at times do repeat the same phrase over and over and over again in their prayer. I would agree that that is, that is going completely against scripture. But again, that is not a reason to say that somebody is not born again. Because like, you have to be really thoughtful with the wording, the verbiage that we're using when we're talking to people. Because to say that somebody is not born again for a reason like this is, first off, it's not true. And second off, you are putting a burden on somebody that Jesus is not putting on them for their salvation. Like, only, like, n not praying in vain repetition. Like, have you done any sin? Have you committed any sin? Have you been in the error in any of your theology? Because if that's the case, you should be concerned that you're not going to heaven with this gentleman's logic in this. So, again, I think it's a very poor jump to make. So, let's see what else he has to say. The last point I'll make. Jesus gave us a command called no man father except the father in heaven. Catholicism is wicked. It is evil. It is a false religion. No Catholics are going to heaven who are idolizing saints and who are idolizing Mary. There is one mediator. Thanks for watching. So he, he's right. There, there is no, there are no Catholics who are going to heaven because uh, that, that do idolize Mary or the saints. That's true. But if you idolize pornography, sports, your job, your family, you're also not going to go to heaven. So to caricature this thing of, you know, beating on Catholics for the idolatry problem is, I think, very silly. Um, and, and then also, he had tried to use the phrase from Matthew 23 where he says, Call no man leader, teach your father. With the grace among you shall be a servant. He, again, that's correct. But you can't call out Catholics for saying that and not call out Protestants for all calling everybody a leader or a teacher. We call everybody leader this or teacher this. So we're doing the exact same thing. We're just using the two phrases that are we're not father. So... You're cherry picking in this passage, uh, or yeah, in the scriptures, how to beat up Catholics. So um, the only thing that he didn't hit on that I would have agreed with him on would have been the conversation about salvation. Catholics believe that you are saved by grace through faith and works. The Bible teaches in Ephesians 2, 8, 9, for it is by grace that you've been saved through faith, not of your own works. This is the thing that brings people into eternity. The thing that brings people, for, provides people salvation. And he didn't even mention that part. That is the only point that I would mention if I was telling a Catholic that they weren't born again is I would emphasize this aspect of the fact that they're not believing that Jesus is the way to heaven, but rather Jesus plus works is the way to heaven. This is the one singular fundamental principle that they believe that you should be fighting tooth and nail. Not transubstantiation, uh, not their rosaries or praying to Mary or confession. Those things are all bad and wrong, but they're not the main thing that will keep somebody away from an eternity with Jesus. They believe the same thing a Muslim believes in the sense of their good deeds can in part save them. That's the one thing if I'm him, I'm pushing against Catholics in doing. So um, if there's anything that you get out of this video outside of subscribing to our channel is that you really should be sober about judging people in the same measure that you want to be judged. To go off of some theological difference that somebody has and condemning them for that when you have theological inconsistencies or failures um, is one of those things that I don't want to look before God on judgment day and be judged eternally condemned on my sake because I was condemning other people on this earth because their theology was not completely accurate as mine isn't completely accurate. So guys, truth and love, be considerate, speech season with salt. I'm not saying to agree with everything somebody says. I truth and love disagree with people on a daily basis on things that they say. I'm not mean about it. I'm not telling them they're just going to hell because I don't agree with them. We need to be cautious of those things and we should subscribe as well. That'd be just help us get this out to more people. So appreciate you all. Love you all. Chat with you guys in the next one.